Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mtholi Singube. I am back here uh, to update uh, Zimbabweans who are based in South Africa about the e-passport which you know uh, was rolled out in the country a few months ago. So before I go ahead and respond to questions that you've been filtering about this particular passport, especially the accessibility for those who are based in South Africa, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and share it for the benefit of those who are not yet subscribed to this channel so that uh, they may also get this uh, kind of information. I would also like to remind you that uh, Umtuagazi Funerals, which is a funeral service provider, here in South Africa, which is also uh, available in Zimbabwe, are running a three-month special whereby you do not have to pay anything uh, for you to be included in their database of, or for you to choose, uh, for you to be covered uh, in any of their policies that is of your choice. So the special is running up to the 31st of October, whereby you just fill in the forms uh, and become a member. You start paying uh, your subscription fees without having to pay any joining fee so it is ongoing you can look them up on their facebook page um the funerals uh, or facebook group um the funerals where you can then check the policy that may uh, be necessary where that you may like for you and your loved ones now back to the questions that we've been getting from those who want to apply for the e-passport were based in south africa is that is the service available here in South Africa in, in the consulate? Uh, the answer to that is no, not as yet. But the good news is that uh, we are told that the government is in the process uh, of rolling out uh, the application process uh, for this uh, particular passport all over the country. Uh, and we are told that more than 140,000 uh, e-passports have been given out since uh, the application process began. Uh, began. Uh, and we are told that the government is now in the process of rolling this out to different districts in the country. And the good news for those who are based, especially in South Africa, is that uh, a center is going to be set up in Bedbridge, which is specifically uh, meant to serve, especially those who are based in the South Africa, who come from anywhere in Zimbabwe. So what you'll be doing is that you just travel to Bedbridge, you apply for your passport, you pay the required amount, then you come back to South Africa, wait for it uh, to come out, and then you go, you can go and collect it in Bedbridge. Uh, so. It has not been set up yet, this center, but we are told that before the end of the year, the center will be up and running, which means that it's going to uh, alleviate uh, the problems of going, of having to travel all the way to Arare to the civil registry offices or to Bulao or any other center. So you just go, you cross the border, you apply in Bedbridge, you come back. So the amount that you need to pay is $120, uh, that is for the e-passport that comes out within the next two to three weeks. Uh, for the three day one, you are charged uh, 200 dollars $200, uh, for you to get that. Uh, it's around three thousand rands for the three day passport, and uh, around less than two thousand uh, rands for the passport that comes within uh, that comes out within two to three weeks. So this is what we had for you. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, and also do not forget to look up Umtwaga's funerals. PTY Limited, uh, that's a group uh, on Facebook, then you can go there and uh, check, uh, join the group and then you check out the policies that they have on offer and choose the one that you believe is most suitable for you and your family. Allow your family to just say rest in peace when you die because you would have uh, prepared the way uh, in terms of taking care of your body when you are gone or allow yourself the chance to just say rest in peace when your loved one uh, passes on because you would have al uh, allowed yourself a time to prepare for their uh, burial, proper burial, dignified burial in the hands of uh, a, a distinguished uh, funeral services provider which is Umtuagazi Funerals by taking care of them, registering them in your policy of your choice with them. Thank you very much. Uh, you can send us your questions uh, via this channel, uh, via this, uh, via the 
uh, the, the, the question and answer segment or via the comment section rather uh, of this uh, underneath this video uh, would like to apologize for that just go underneath this video there is a, a, a comment section where you can send us your questions where we can engage where we can answer you as well as soon as you ask uh, those questions that deserve a, a written answer so thank you very much subscribe to this channel like this video and share it don't forget to look up umtogas funerals